Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. I created this glittery smoky eye and red lip. I never wear red so today I was like no, it's Valentine's Day Mona. It's not a must wear red though but I just wanted to have some colors seeing as I wear nude all the time. How have you guys been? Let's catch up. Stay tuned watch let me know what you think subscribe to my channel enjoy as you can see i've already done one side of the eye and to create i'm going to recreate this on this other side i did my eyebrows and the eyes off camera i'm going to be using my first natural eyes palette i love this palette i love the packaging it smells delicious like chocolate i'm going to be using the shade strip poker on my eyebrow bone so i usually start off by putting a nude color on the eyebrow bone so I'm just putting that in the outer part of the eyebrow bone and then I'm going to to mix it up with cashmere just to match my skin tone and not to be so bright now that I'm, I'm done with that I'm going to be going into the crease and for that I'm going to be using the matte and electric pro eyeshadow palette it's the fog aloe palette I'm going to pick the caramel shade using my fluffy brush I'm going to blend that into my crease using a back and forth motion and then I'm going to go darker and I'm going to use a more red color cocoa powder I use this palette a lot that's why it's looking like this <laughs> yeah so once I have that in the crease I just want to create more depth because I have hooded eyes so smoky eyes dark colors you like really suit my eyes so I'm going to go in with a darker purple it's called the purple purple i'm using a different brush to do this a brush that's more precise because i don't want to cover everything that i have done and then once that's done i'm just going back and forth with a fluffy brush i use for that other maroon shade going back and forth now i'm going to just add a little bit of the black on the outer side on the outer corner of my eye still from the same fog aloe pro palette I'm using the black shade, it's called Carbon. You rather put a little bit and then keep building up the product as you go. So I'm just blending that on the outer corner of my eyes and dragging it forward. You need to take your time when you're blending because you don't want to have any harsh lines in your eyeshadow. You want it to be like a fade. So once that's done, I'm going to get my, my Too Faced Naked palette again. And I'm going to be using two shades in here. I'm going to be using the shade Push Up and Honey Pot. So I'm just packing that on my lid. Then using my same ring finger, I'm going to use Honey Pot. Now I'm using Honey Pot on the front part of the lid. And then towards the end of, of that lid, on the outer part, I'm using Push Up. So I'm just packing that on. And then I sort of want to create like a cut crease, but you know when you have hooded eyes, all the colors don't really show like so. Uh, you just have to draw that like above your crease, uh, slightly above your crease, so it can be seen clearly. Let me also organize this other part. I'm going to use the Black Opal Automatic Eyelining Pencil to just find my eyes. I love this because it's really thick and it doesn't smudge, so it stays right in place. Where you put it is where it stays. You can get all Black Opal product here at my studio, also at Linton's Beauty World. They are the main distributors for Black Opal. So I'm also going to use the same liner to just line the top part of my, of my eye, more like tight lining, right on the lash line. So I want to keep it as thin as possible, like I said. My eyes are hooded, so when you have hooded eyes, you, you can't really have a very thick wing eyeliner otherwise it's going to end up covering all the work that you've done on your lid so you want to just keep that line as close to your lash line as possible so I just keep going back and forth with this pen until I feel like it's dark enough and there are no specks of eyeshadow that are being seen through the liner so now I'm just going to pack glitter onto the top of the gold I'm going to be using the Fog Allure Luxury Glow Glitter Palette I love 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 like, for this look I use champagne anyways I'm going to use the my ring finger still I'm going to get a bit on my hand just a little bit and then I'm going to pack it on so make sure that the, the gold glitter doesn't go on your liner or else you'll have to go back in with the eyeliner and just make that and just darken so I'm just pressing it on on top of the gold just to give me a little bit of drama so the eyes are done I usually like to smudge 
the eyeliner at the bottom a bit with the eyeshadow so I'm going to be using a precise brush I now I'm going to have to do this again at the end because I have to do the face and all and I'm using the purple shade from the four color eyeshadow palette and a bit of a black shade all the eyeshadow palettes that I'm using in this video are available I like to tell you guys where the products are available because I know how difficult it can be finding products in this town makeup products that are nice and that are genuine so at least you know where to find all these products and people are always asking me where can I buy makeup products from so you can just come to my studio or I'll be tagging everywhere that I get the products from now once that's done I'm going to put mascara on my eyes and for mascara I'm going to be using the black opal super volumizing mascara I love 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 this mascara guys because I'm, I'm I find it difficult putting lashes on myself it's easy for me to do for clients but applying lashes for myself is so difficult so I love using mascaras that are volumizing so now once that's done time to get into the face i started off by applying moisturizer on my skin and to moisturize i use the nimu skin technology moisturizer plus it's really really nice i love this moisturizer it gives your skin a glow that's why my skin is going to wait no nope. you see <laughs> i am obsessed with seven rings Ariana. Anyways, I love this moisturizer. For, I would recommend it for people who have a dry skin or even if you have an oily skin but you want to have like a glow. This is the product to use. And it's available at Linton's Beauty World at Acacia Moon. I'm going to start off by priming my skin and for the primer I'm going to be using the La Lancome Best. They have the Pro Eraser. This is a mattifying one. It's good for people who have oily skin or who want to minimize pores and then they have the Hydra Glow which is good for people who have dry skin or if you want your makeup to glow, to have like a glow. Now I have these two and I'm just so confused. I don't know which one to go for because I love to glow as you guys know but then I also have oily skin so if you think you're going to be wearing your makeup for a longer period of time then I would recommend you use the, the mattifying one and that's what I'm going to be using today I want you guys to see how it works I'm going to put a bit on the back of my hands and then I'm going to apply it gently on the rest of my face next I'm going to be using my black opal true color foundation and I'm going to be using the shade Beautiful Bronze and I love to use a brush when I'm applying my foundation so I'm just going to dab that in the skin next I'm going to be applying my concealer I'm going to highlight my face I'm going to be using the Black Opal Total Coverage Concealer and I'm going to be using the shade Nutmeg I also like to highlight around my mouth area because that place is usually darker than the rest of my face so I just want to brighten it up a bit so I'm using black purple products for my skin mostly because I, I mean I love them <laughs> they're stuck there and then they're also really affordable and easy to find it to set the highlighted areas I'm going to be using the invisible oil blocking powder I'm just using a stippling motion and I'm just packing the powder on. Who else has used has tried using this powder? Let me know what you think about it. Have you used it? How do you like it? Like what powders do you usually use to set? I like to put on quite a bit helps my makeup last longer that way I would also recommend if you just keep using small portions and just keep going like you know, just keep building on that and I'm setting a lot around my nose area because I have my nose shine fast faster than the rest of my face I'm going to go in with a black opal translucent powder the soft velvet finishing powder in the shade deep now this is like an all-time favorite I talk about it I use it in all my videos and every time I'm using it I talk about it so I use it 
for contouring and I use it like in the places that I want to contour and my jawline between my cheekbones. So using a back and forth motion just blend that on the areas that you contouring. Do you see the warmth that it's giving my face guys or not? Nah? Do you guys want me to do a more detailed tutorial on highlighting and contouring because I feel like in all my videos I do the face so I already take you through it but if you want a more detailed one where I just take you through highlighting and contouring leave a comment below tell me I love smoky eyes guys more so if you have small eyes hooded eyes smoky eyes are the best way so I usually just put a glitter and then smoky and then I think I'm Valentine's ready. Valentine's Day ready. <laughs> so now it's time for my favorite. I love your man. I'm going to highlight my face and I'm going to be using the Black Opal Sunrise Glow Stick. Love, love, love. Okay. So I'm going to go right on the topmost part of my cheekbones, right there. there. And then I'm going to just. Do you see that? Do you even see that? Guys, I love I love the glow. It looks like my skin is literally glowing from within, guys. Look at that. So I just apply little by little and then I just keep building. I literally rushed through doing the rest of my face just to get to this part. I need to glow. No. Okay. You need to be careful not to get carried away. Let's first take a moment to get into this highlight. So obviously I'm going to get my Anastasia Glow Kit. As you can see, I've had it for quite a while. It's even old. And I'm going to use the shade Bronzed. Because this matches my skin tone. And I'm going to get my fan brush. Put just a little bit, just a little. And then go over my with that. What's that? Like, what's the meaning of this highlight? Anyways, enough for the highlight. For the lips, I use the Black Up No Transfer Glossy Liquid Lip Color. I'm using the shade GNT06 and GNT05. So the 06 is a dark burgundy red head, and that's what I use on the outer part of my lips. And then for the inner part of the lips, I use the GT, the GNT05. So if you're looking for this same um, Black Up lip colors, you can get them at Linton's Beauty World. They have the whole range. Now that we're done, how do I look? So that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this look. This is my Valentine's inspired makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. Comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see from me next. I hope you've subscribed already. I mean, if you haven't, you should. I'm going to be uploading more and putting out more content. I really had fun creating this. Let me know what looks you'd love to see from me next. All the products I used in this video are available at Linton's Beauty World. Linton's is at Acacia Mall. I know how hard it is finding products in this town. If you're from here, you know the struggle. So you can, I used Black Up, Lancome, Black Opal for the skin and everything else. I'll have them listed down in the description box below. Don't forget to show me some love, like the video, share it with your friends. Recreate the look if you want to and let me know what you think. I love you guys. See you again next time. Mwah.